What is going on everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Time to take a look at another beer and today taking a look at one from Spellbound Brewing. This is their Porter that was aged on Palo Santo wood and Spellbound is actually out of Mount Holly, New Jersey and this was actually sent to me by one of my old uh, classmates that actually runs the brewery now is one of the co-founders. Um, thank you again, Scott. This is a 2017 gold medal and 2015 silver medal winner out of the Great American Beer Festival. So looking forward to seeing what this one has to offer. This one comes in with an ABV of 6.9%. The only thing I will say about the can, I do like the design and how it's labeled, is it does not have a date on it. Obviously, we always want to see dates on our stuff, so not having a date there is something that I think every brewery should be doing. But that being said, let's go ahead and get this one into the glass and see what it has to offer. A nice dark malty ale for the evening here. Give you a nice little pour. And then we got a nice little head on there as well. About two and a half finger, as you can see. Nice, dark looking beer that's more of a deep brown than I would say a jet black nice tan color head that has nice bubble action so it's going to break down nicely there should open up some nice aromas for us get a nice feel of the malts nice sensation of chocolate coming out along with a little bit of a coffee ground type feel but as expected, nice malt forwardness on it. And really the coffee does come through nicely from the malts, taste-wise. That's actually really smooth for a porter. One of the things I always run into or come across a good amount of times of porters is, for me, there's a thinness to them I usually pick up. I will say with this one, this has a nice body feel to it. Um, not too light, not too thin. I'm not really getting much of a watery type effect, which is something I pick up with a lot of the different porters. After swallowing, I'm getting a nice amount of flavor left in the mouth as well. You do pick up a little bit of that woodiness in there. Has a nice coating of the mouth from the flavor as well. You really sit and feel a nice balance and sitting nicely all over in the cheeks. The flavors are balancing out nicely. I'm left with a nice little bit of a, a roasty type feel in there from the malts. But that coffee sits very nicely. Not too bitter on the beer. You do have a little bit of a, a little bit of a coffee bittering type quality to it, but goes down very easily and now that I'm halfway through this glass I really feel the absorption of the flavors in the mouth as well but digging it I can see how this one definitely plays well it is a very nice porter as I mentioned and uh, one that I definitely am enjoying again this is aged on the Palo Santo and so we aged our signature porter on Palo Santo wood, increasing the complexity of the beer. Senses are initially stimulated by the coconut and chocolate aromas from the wood. A touch of anise and roasty malts come through as it warms in the glass. This beer will age well, so you can actually age this for a little bit of time also. But again, there's a look at the beer itself from Spellbound Brewing. And uh, overall, very nice. Very solid. Check it out if you get a chance. Thanks for checking this out. And I will look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.